Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video. This is a contest entry uh, for Steve, uh, Psych in the Valleys, a uh, great um, British collector. Check him out if you haven't already. He shows a lot of uh, interesting stuff, Psych, British, uh, you know, classic rock and Psych from back in the day, and, um, you know, reasonably collectible type things, not just uh, charity shop crap like I show and um, so yeah Steve wants us to um, show some geographical records he's a geography teacher himself um, I was lousy at geography at school I, um, I annoyed my geography teacher Mr Loach so much uh, that um, during one lesson he, he pushed me backwards into a bin so I actually fell into the bin and he kind of leaned over me and pointed his finger at me and shouted I hate you you've been sent to test me so uh, that was me in geography. So um, yeah, I was never very good at it. But I've just I've, I've checked the definition on um, on Wikipedia, and uh, because Steve mentioned you know showing mountains and rivers and everything, but I saw a very good documentary, or I heard it on the radio a while back, and I can't remember who it was, but it was some famous geographer who was talking about um, man's impact on the environment, and you know the fact that we can so, uh, we can see certain structures from space now, you know that have been built, and some of the structures that man has built on the earth will last so long that if we were to go forward a thousand years into the future you would still see remnants of those um, you know constructions so uh, you know essentially we have become part of the natural world our constructions have become part of the landscape and the, the definition of geography that i found was the study of the physical features of the earth and its atmosphere and of human activity as it affects and is affected by these, including the distribution of populations, resources, and economic activities. So um, I'm, I'm stretching it out a bit beyond just kind of mountains and rivers and everything and, and showing some stuff which, you know, human-based stuff which has become part of the natural world. So I, I hope that's right. Like I said, I'm, geography is not my strong point, so I hope I'm not straying into some kind of architectural uh, realm there. Anyway, I've got a fair few things to show actually, so uh, I'll just whiz through. Um, the first one, this is uh, Dr. John and Gumbo, uh, with a classic uh, kind of urban shot there, mixed in with a bit of nature. We have uh, clouds, we have fields, we have a black pig, uh, we have uh, some kind of railway embankment, no doubt a New Orleans shot. Nice cover. Uh, here we have uh, Moustaki, um, French singer-songwriter. And uh, this album is uh, contains some shots of various. Okay, we've got Jesus here, but we've got some an aerial shot there of some mountains and, and the sea and that kind of thing. And we have Krishna. So yeah, partly geographical and partly uh, non-geographical. We have um, Pink Floyd and Atom Heart Mother. But the shot that I wanted to share was this one. One of my favourite uh, 1970s gatefolds. I love it. And Pink Floyd again. So this goes back to what I was saying about you know man's impact on the environment. This is uh, Pink Floyd animals, of course, with Battersea Power Station. Great uh, gatefold. I'll show you the, the full gatefold first. So, attempting to imagine in a thousand years' time what that will look like, you know. And then inside you have various uh, shots of man-made geographical stuff. Yeah, what a cover. What a cover. What an album. Okay, we've got uh, Back to Nature now. We've got Venus and Mars by Wings. Not a very geographical shot on the cover, but if we open it up, uh, we find a delightful Californian bit of coastline with a band there checking out some shells on the beach I got really excited when I was a kid because we used to go on holiday to West Wales and the beach there looks very similar so I thought that, that maybe Paul had been to our local beach but in fact that's in California okay back to the urban sprawl we have the fall this nation's saving grace so again man's impact on nature there for all to see back to nature again with um, Thomas Dolby and the flat earth you can see Thomas there 
panning for gold maybe in some kind of waterfall type situation quite nice um, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers into the great wide open nice kind of mixture of man-made stuff and uh, natural features lovely painting um, that picture is by Jan Matulka okay so yeah back to the man-made Geography again, Alan Parsons, iRobot. This is Charles de Gaulle Airport in uh, Gay Paris. Oops. Next uh, we have OMD. Uh, this is the first album, I think, is it? No, no, it's not the first album. It's one of the subsequent albums. Organization. Another beautiful shot. A um, couple of Randy Newman albums, Randy Newman Trouble in Paradise, where we can see him on some kind of beach type resort. And then this one, again, man-made, urban sprawl, little criminals. As a complete contrast, we've got uh, Jerry Hall posing on the cover of uh, one of Roxy's classic albums, their fifth album, Siren. Which, uh, yeah, shame it's not a gatefold. But um, a couple of people have already shown Fragile by Yes, but I couldn't resist showing a Roger Dean cover for a bit of fantasy geography. So let's have a, a look. Of course, he was a master at creating these wonderful environments. Another good one, of course, is the um, is the gatefold inside gatefold for close to the edge. I'll let somebody else show that. We've got Mike Oldfield and Hergis Ridge, his second album featuring a rather fetching aerial shot. And a nice photo of his dog on the rear. This is a great favourite of mine. This is Wings Greatest, uh, Paul McCartney and Wings' uh, best of album from 1979, I think. Um, but the story behind this is this little figurine here was only about kind of that tall. Paul had uh, a crew of photographers dispatched up to Switzerland to take a photograph of it in the snow. So that's actually a photograph of Swiss snow. But you, but I mean, you just look at it and you think, well, he might as well have just put it on a tabletop and scattered some sugar icing about, you know, so a colossal waste of money, I suppose. But at least we have the shot. Okay, bit of a uh, bit of the old Kraut Rock. This is a very shiny album cover. This is Can and uh, Sunova Babaluma. And um, it is actually very shiny, but I quite like this one. It's kind of labelled up. You can't really see there, but it's labelled with things in a kind of school textbook kind of way. Um, yeah, the actual labellings are just the credits, uh, you know, who, who's in the band and the song credits and so on. So there we go. Great album, that. Classic um, Buggles cover this is their second album adventures in modern recording showing a slightly surreal field with some sky there and I like this uh, this back cover which is a kind of almost like a kind of infrared computer version of the front Very good whoops we got we got ourselves some Dillard's in the cornfield We've got Jimmy Webb at Land's End. Uh, we've got the Russian composer Villa Lobos, the Bacchianus Brasiliaris suite for voice and violin. Have a lovely jungle shot. Beautiful that, isn't it? The urban one, we have Richard Thompson. Posing on the banks of the River Thames for his album um, Hand of Kindness. We got uh, 10cc, the original soundtrack, which uh, has a very busy cover on it, but the, the centre panel there you can see the cowboy on horseback with the mountains in the background. Let's have the full gatefold effect for this. Great cover. Two more, another urban one, Tangerine Dream and the Sorcerer, uh, soundtrack, a 
the lorry trying to cross uh, some kind of rope bridge and about to fall into the river in the rain. And finally we're going to end with a bit of a silly one, not a picture but a title. You can't get much more geographical than River Deep, Mountain High by Cantina Turner. Okay, cheers Steve, long may your channel continue. Uh, check out Steve if you haven't already, I shall put the link up there and uh, I'll see you all soon. Take care folks, bye bye.